campaign. So if it stays this way, and it looks like it will, uh, City Council President Felicia Moore uh, and Andre Dickens will be in a runoff later this month. And Andre Dickens just addressed his supporters moments ago. Our Dale Russell was there and joins us live from his campaign. Quite a surprising outcome so far tonight, Dale. Courtney, it was a fascinating night, a big party night, as you can imagine. It's quiet now. Everyone has left, but back behind me here was a television screen. The Braves were playing. The Braves win the World Series. The, proud, the crowd goes crazy. And then Andre Dickens comes in, and he's meeting and greeting and talking to his followers and comes in with the news and the numbers and lets them know he's in the runoff, that he has defeated Kasim Reed for that vital second slot underneath Felicia Moore. And he gave a speech to the followers that was, was very powerful and very passionate. As he said, I'm fighting for the soul of Atlanta. Atlanta, we had a choice. We made a choice tonight. We had the choice to either take us back into the past in a time where dark clouds covered over our city, or we could travel, travel to the future, down the path that has been laid out by the heroes of Atlanta. Well, we chose that path tonight. And you chose a path to the future tonight. The people decided that it was time to save the soul of our city. And to move this campaign forward into the runoff. So how did he do it? Well, the numbers showed Kasim Reed in the lead throughout most of the evening for that vaunted second spot that I mentioned. But then the numbers started to close. The gap was narrowed, and it was East Atlanta and the portions of Atlanta and DeKalb County. Those were the votes that came in near the end. I'm told by staffers here that they were beating Kasim Reed two to one in DeKalb County, and those numbers kept coming up higher and higher for this team right here, the winning team right here. 478 votes is what it ended up with, I'm told, is the difference between him and Kasim Reed. I'm sure there'll be a recount. We'll probably hear more about that tomorrow. Under 500 votes separated the two. A hard-fought battle with the former mayor and city councilman Andre Dickens, who now says he's ready to go to work and ready to go on day one. Reporting live from his campaign headquarters in the shadow of Auburn Avenue, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News. Yeah, plenty of excitement for Andre Dickens' campaign. Dale, thanks so much. Of course.